Hi, my name is Andrew Cote. I'm an urban beekeeper here in New York City. But I want to ask for your help to help some beekeepers who are very, very far from here. We are going to help some Buru beekeepers in their fight against the honey badger. We have already bought our plane tickets and on the day after Christmas we're going to be flying to Kenya no matter what. But if we win this we'll be able to build 10 to 20 more fences to protect hundreds of hives. So in Kenya one of the biggest problems for beekeepers is the honey badger. It definitely destroys their hives. They're very smart which also is a problem, so they can get around a lot of the defenses that the villagers set up to keep them away. Okay, so this, this is a Langstroth hive, and normally these hives are not hung, hung up in the trees. This is hung in the tree to, to keep honey badgers away. Biggest challenge for this community is drought. The other one is the honey badger. This is a small animal that knocks hives and feeds on brood and basically destroys the whole colony. If you'd like to see an example of a hive, I'm going to show you over here. This hive, a honey badger's attacked and tore the metal lid right off of the hive. I mean, they're, they're nasty creatures. They're nasty. They're, they're, they're the bane of the existence of the East African beekeeper. There are other organizations that do similar things, but Andrew is doing it on such an intimate level with people. Uh, it's not coming from a big corporation. It's it's. Andrew, it's his father, it's me, it's people going over themselves and working with people. There are five products inside the beehive. <laughs> What I saw on CNN, they were in Samburu, that's a remote and dry part of Kenya. When Bees Without Borders visit these particular places, they are able to help them start looking at other alternative methods of farming, which will help them be able to get an extra income. And that will mean a child going to school who may not have gone to school because the parents can be able to afford some fees, they can be able to afford to buy for them school supplies, and a child sleeping, not sleeping hungry because the parents are able to afford food. So that's very helpful. If everyone could give a donation to help fight the honey badger, maybe, they, maybe we should catch them and eat them. <laughs> I think they are edible. <laughs> Asante Sana from Brooklyn, New York, yo. Donate. Let me hear from you that you're helping the Kenyan brothers. Some kind of donation. A camel, a pig, $10, whatever. <laughs> We'll be able to build more fences, train more beekeepers, build more hives. So please give generously. Asante Sana, thanks everybody very much for your donation. Asante Sana for your donation. Asante Sana for your donation. Thank you so much. Asante Sana for your donation. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is this? I can I can't get over it. It's a fence. I I can see it's a fence. I can't get over it. I can't get around it. Nor can I <coughs> get under it. Perhaps through it? I am, re I am repelled. I am repelled. I am thwarted. The honey badger has been thwarted. <sighs> I reluctantly admit defeat. Ah, never mind. I'll just eat a snake instead. <laughs>